What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to the Cold Boot, where I look at new games and or DLC, and today we're looking at Dead in Bermuda out on Steam today, um, August the 27th, and uh, costing a price that I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's like 13 14 bucks. Uh, it has that, you know, launch discount. Uh, Shoutouts to a good friend of mine, Lictor, for sending me a copy for reasons beyond me. But he wanted me to play it, so here we are, dead in Bermuda! Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor or not. Sometimes with this recording setup, you can, you can't. Uh, but when I move the mouse cursor, the little island thing here moves. So, being that this is the cold boot, this is the coldest of boots, because I have no idea what this game is. Uh, the description says it is a survival uh, management game. Uh, I don't think there are zombies. But it has survival and management, and so we're going to watch this little intro here. Uh, we're going to have some lost action, I guess. A uh, plane going down on an island with a number of survivors, and we will see how uh, I can manage, or more likely improperly manage, these folks who, uh, under my tutelage, probably won't survive. My, my skill at managing things uh, in this kind of game is usually pretty subpar, if I do say so myself. So, let us get into some tutorial action in here, as we are, I guess, reticulating splines, uh, is the common joke uh, from games of yore. But usually having, having some good jokes in your, hey, we're setting up the game world for you. Uh, is appreciable on my end anyway. Uh, I don't know if this is kind of a rogue, if any of this is rogue-ish, rogue-light, rogue-like, I have no idea. Uh, we got Alice. We've made a camp. It's heartwarming. After the, you know, the, the, the plane crash. Alright. Let us see who are we here. We have Alice is 45 and her husband Robert from Montreal. Eh? And there's Bob. Bob likes to tinker a bit. Gonna be doing a lot of fishing here, Bob. A whole lot of fishing. Just putting that out there. Alejandro. Uh, manager at Holiday Resort. This is his first holidays in 10 years. Well, that sucks to be you. Winters. Dr. Bethany Winters. From London, Pip Pip Cheerio. She's our medical expert. Is Yori, who says nothing. Oh, uh, Ilyana, coming from uh, Russia. Yeah, that's Yori and Ilyana. Uh, and Julia married the dad last summer. Here's Julia. Uh, is she Russian too, or is she just a pain in the ass? I don't know. Jacob, can of finish, can of finish. Must organize. I know how to survive. So he's a doomsday prepper, apparently. That's pretty funny. Alright, clean water and resources to make a fire. Excellent. You're right, Jacob. But before that, go fuck yourself. Alright, yes. Discussion results. Ten wood, two stone, one tinder, and then everybody is more depressed. So I'm wondering if that functions kind of like the uh, stuff does in Darkest Dungeon, where they have kind of different moods and whatnot. Welcome to Bermuda. Camp view can assign activities. Mouse left and right uh, to view all the camp. Characters get action slots. Uh, to move a character, you can drag and drop or right click to get the desired action. So move a character from campfire to the scavenge slot. So, where's the, oh god, this is, uh, there's the crash plane. So, move a character. Who would be good? Oh, this is kind of, uh, I need to adjust that. That seems kind of dizzying. Uh, who's good at what here? Um, who'd be good for scavenging? This dude, obviously, he is the, uh, tinfoil hat doomsday dude. He'd be good at scavenging, right? So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna right-click him, yes, and then drag him over to the plane and say, "Yo, go scavenge this plane, son." But beware, 
Seeing the dead passengers' corpses will increase his depression. There are five states of hunger, depression, sickness, injury, and fatigue. If any one of them reaches 100%, the related character will die. Two other characters are the research slots at the, the library? That, that's your library. Okay. Alright, who's going to be library here? Uh, not the doctor. We'll take Alejandro and uh, put him at research. And we'll take Julia and put her at the research. New crafting plans. We'll look at our recipe. Each character has different strengths and weaknesses, yes. But for now, move three other characters to the explore slots at the jungle. Try to find the best combination. Um, Bob, you're going to explore, motherfucker. Is that not the right? Yeah, okay. Bob goes to the jungle. And his wife, she's got boots on. She goes to the jungle. And Yuri can go to the jungle and we'll leave the doctor and the daughter back at camp. <laughs> Last thing to do, make a fire to craft new things. Click on the workshop and choose a crafting recipe. Got it. So, heading over here to the workshop. Recipe, campfire. Okay. Crafting consumes resources. Yeah, it's like fucking Minecraft. Uh, you can be easily have the exact amount that you need to make campfire. Move the last two characters to craft. Well, it's kind of not how I wanted it to go down, but sure. Everyone has to pull their weight or we're all going to die. But, spoiler, we're probably all going to die. Everyone is assigned a task, don't advance the time to see the results of their actions. The game is composed in two phases, daytime and nighttime. So we hit next. And then things happen. He found some wood, some rope, and a tasty meal. And a, and a meal. And some fruit. And a pillow. And some coffee. And he's tired. And he's depressed. Uh, use some more. I got an achievement for a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Uh, you've got a campfire. That will definitely help. Alright. You can now assign characters to the talk action around the fire, lowering their depression. So that gives us a campfire. Cool. That increases her fatigue, but not her depression because she wasn't scavenging in the plane. Got it. Alright. We need a shelter. New recipe sleeping area. Got it. Okay. New area discovered. Fatigue. 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 And whatever that heart thing is. That's the basics. Select the new L recipe in the workshop. Leaping area. Uh, crafting is important. Don't forget it. You should have picked up some food for tonight from the plane, so it won't be a problem for today. You also have some fruits that you can convert into water supplies. Click on the water tank. Where's the water tank? That's the one. It's a barrel. Okay. Uh, convert my fruit into 325 water supplies. Each character consumes one supply per day, so one thing of water for today. If your water gets zero, it's game over! Lower their depression, move at least two characters. Alright, so obviously we're gonna move uh, our doomsday prepper here. Wrong button. Uh, our doomsday prepper here back to the campfire because he's got his increased depression there. And uh, we'll take somebody out from, uh, we'll take Alice here from her, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, her up here. Uh, 
use a coffee cup on a character. So, click him. Use item. Everyone likes some hot coffee. How, how do I... Yes. Re re reduce his fatigue to zero and uh, reduce his depression by 10 points. Got it. If you discovered a new area of the island, click on the map. Click on the map. Oh, man. Okay. I wonder if this is the same every time or if it's different on different playthroughs. Or if there even are different playthroughs. So this is all just kind of a one... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Uh, on each square there's an object and their locations are randomized on each new game. So there is an element of randomization here. You can freely interact, but it doesn't pass time. Instead, you have a chance to be attacked by a nasty beast, depending on how stealthy the chosen character is. So, wooden crate. Inspect it. It may contain something valuable, as well as being the lair of some strange animal with nasty big pointy teeth. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna search that shit. Uh, ooh, performance action. Uh, let Bob do it. Take it away, Bob. Stealth check eight percent fail. Monster attack! It's a snake. Badger, 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 badger. Oh, it's a snake. Um. Two coffee, one spice, two med yeah, medicinal plants. Uh, and then obviously scavenge some wood. Get that shit, Bob. You're already there. Really? You're gonna get... Fail again? And another... Oh, what the fuck was that? A giant crab. Well, Bob took some damage. Uh, let's... Yeah. I don't know if that was worth scavenging. Well, yeah. Wood and nail. And increases fatigue. So, back to camp with you. Um, and then two out of two is next. They're gonna craft our sleeping hidey hole. Sleeping area. That seems... Increase their fatigue. And whatever that heartbreak symbol means. Knowledge. Read them books. Read them books! And that decreases their depression by sitting by the campfire. And not doing shit. Oh, she's a chef! Fantastic. New skills. And then he gets more exploration, level 2. Alright, so characters gain levels. New area discovered. Increases the fatigue for Yori. He didn't, dis he didn't dis dis discover shit. Everyone goes back to the campfire. Okay, more story bits, I guess. Scavenge the food in that damn plane. I'm sure we'll find more if we continue to search them. Yeah, and then more dead bodies. Yeah, only a few days, so you obviously want to craft uh, and learn to hunt. Give me a gun, he's a doomsday prepper. Craft like a spear or something, I don't know. We should ration our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ration the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without water, the average person dies after three days. I know. You all gonna die, because I'm bad at this type of game. Don't worry, we can make juice out of fruits. The island's covered in jungle, and there are dangerous animals everywhere, like snakes and giant crabs. Giant enemy crabs. It is historically accurate. Help's never coming. Maybe someone lives in this jungle on this remote. If somebody lived on this jungle, on this remote island, they would have heard the goddamn plane crash and come for you. Just saying. Tomorrow's another day. Good night, good night, good night. And then that should hopefully decrease some uh, meters and increase some meters. Tutorial filter 3. <laughs> Conditions to trigger these dialogues and randomize elements so you won't have the same dialogues each new game. You must now share the food. Each food has its own nutritious value and perishable food has a chance to degrade at night. So choose well, drag and drop your meals onto each character. So, who's the most hungry here? Bob's pretty hungry. Let's get him to zero. Uh, I 
Eliana's pretty hungry. Let's get her to zero. Alejandro's pretty hungry. Let's get him to zero. And a five. Whatever. Uh, that's all we have is these males, so... Um, I'm gonna use one more on the doctor. And then everybody else to stay hungry. Next. Alright, fire intensity. Alright, so I gotta keep track of that. People are depressed, tired, depressed, tired, hungry, moody, depressed, tired, hungry, depressed, sleepy. Depressed, sleepy, depressed, bruised, because of that snake and crab thing. And Alice is a bit hungry. Okay, we made it through the first night. Somehow, some way. When it drops to zero, you lose your fire and you gotta crash it again. That fucking sucks. Avoid that! Feed your fire every day! So where's... Can we just click on it? Check intensity. There we go. Convert. 86. 99. Alright, some last tips. Efficiency depends on skill and relationships. Uh, each action is tied to one or several skills. Good luck and have fun! Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Alright, let's get over here. Let's get over here and... How depressed is he? Is he... Back to zero, wasn't he? Alice needs to get back over here to explore some more. And Jacob, since you're such an expert on uh, scavenging and being a prepper and whatnot, you can go do that. Uh, I don't have anything. Oh, that's, that's not even done yet. Not even done yet. Okay. And then there's a bunch more things to craft, so... I guess we'll keep, keep, keep everyone in their current positions. Uh, here we can see what their states are, what their skills are. Oh man, that's a lot of numbers. That is a lot of numbers. Oh wow, that's that's kind of a bit to take in there. Uh, strong metabolism, hunter. And you f obviously if you find more of these things as you move along. Um, that's interesting. Okay, well we're gonna try to get through one more day here. Oh, how do I... I'd seen that he had a point for something, but I didn't actually know how to... Okay, okay. Wow, okay. Even more micromanaging here. Uh, we're gonna increase his strength by a point. Um, we're gonna... Increase his stealth by a point. And exploration by... And scavenging. Okay. We have done that for our friend Bob. Hit next here and see what happens. He's gonna scavenge some wood, some rope, four tasty meals, two two meals and three fruits, and an axe. Wow, that I, I actually could come come in handy, but his depression obviously went up a bit there. Their crafting skills are increasing. They're gonna learn some stuff. And our team here looking at new areas. So I should be able to go to the map now? Yeah, let's go to the map and check out down here. Fisherman Basket. Inspect it. Your nose is bleeding because of the smell of whatever is inside this fisherman. What does that mean? My nose is bleeding. Well. Who's got the highest scavenging skill here? Yori. No. Alejandro. Success. You almost faint from the spell, which managed to loot something from the fisherman basket. What do, we, what do we loot? A basket. Fresh fish. Fish bait. Sweet. Back to camp. One more area to inspect. Oh, cool. Machete. 
You find a machete. You wonder where is its owner. You hope he's not a psychopath. Effects. Plus one machete. Cool. Q. It's in the big trunk. Oh, my inventory. Okay, I'm like, what the hell's that? Fantastic. Alright, uh... I'm gonna leave everyone to their current task here, and, uh... Let's go next. See how it goes. Wood. Rope. Tasty meals. Everyone's gonna eat good tonight. Constitution. But fatigue and depression is getting up there into the yellow. And these ladies here are crafting us a... F oh, not quite. Oh, her fatigue's way up there. She's gonna have to rest. Yep, yep, yep. They, they, they need to get... I'm gonna have to rotate these two with the other two on the whole knowledge and crafting thing. Because that seems... What do we got here? Gathering tools. I already have a machete, but sure. Okay, plus five. And then our explorers here. We got a new area. Fatigue is increasing. Everyone sits by the campfire. Da. Nope. Alright. I heard that. Dot dot dot. Okay, good night. That increases those two guys' depression by a little bit. But everybody else is kind of uh, way up there. So, let's... Uh, let's feed everybody. You got eight of these. Feed you. Feed you. Feed you. And you. Eat up everybody. There's plenty to go around. Alright. Next. Depressed and very tired. Exhausted. Very tired. Very tired. Well, I can't... I don't have... I don't have a tent to rest in yet. Um, so... Let's, uh, convert our water supplies from our fruit here. I'm gonna go one more day. I think that's... That, that, that'd be a good, uh... Let's move you here. And move you here. So hopefully that will, uh, help a little bit. Skill points! Uh... Just kind of pump it into everything? I don't know. I'm sure there's a good way to min-max this stuff, but... Man, that's... Beyond the scope of this video. Like, you know, obviously playing it on my, on my own time. Uh... That'd be a whole different story. But... Where I'm at here, I'm just kind of... Doing it willy-nilly. Because I don't actually know what I'm doing. What else is new? That is everybody. Huh, there's... Alright. How people, people are gonna, gonna interact with, with each, each other. Interesting. Interesting. Um... I want to use an item, which is coffee. Which is gonna lower his depression to a more manageable... Let's give him two. Let's give him two. Alright, so that puts his, his at 11. Uh, who's got a lot of fatigue? What's gonna reduce fatigue? Cooking, disease, sickness, fishing, I don't have... I mean, that'll help a little bit. But he's still in the yellow there, which is not great. Winter is real, and I'm now I'm all out of coffee, so... That sucks for her. Oh wow, she's pretty tired too. Okay, well... What if we pull these two off and put them on the campfire, um, just to give them a little bit of rest, and then we pull, uh, two of you off of here to keep learning things and just leave one person scouting, and that'd be, uh, Yori, since he seems to be the, the big dog in the yard in terms of that stuff. 
Uh, we'll do some of that. And then we'll hit next and see what happens. Crazy guy keeps scavenging. More tasty meals and some barely edible stuff. Oh, painkillers, sweet. Chocolate box, this can increase his fatigue and his depression. Uh, they're gonna craft here, snores aren't allowed. We got our sleeping area. All right, three characters. Three characters can take a nap. <clears throat> and that lowers fatigue. I mean, Losing my voice. Fantastic. <clears throat> Alright. So with that done, that's going to lower their depression. And their fatigue a little bit. Not as much as you want. Thief! Oh wow, she's a thief. Okay. And then poor Yori, all on his own, is exploring and found a new area of jungle. And it's going to increase his fatigue. Uh, so we're going to take him. He's at 46. 58. 48. Uh, 33. 52. 52. 49. Well, whatever. Uh, I do want to go to the map here and explore one of these. Moist suitcase. Does it matter anymore? Uh, who's best at scavenging? Yuri, best at scavenging. Nope, failed that. Monster attack, snake attack. That sucks. What do we got? Fabric, psychology magazine, and a chocolate box. Painkillers, yes, painkillers. Back to camp. All right, we're gonna advance one more day here. Morning. No recipe. Oh. Alright. Oops, I'll check that. Uh, gathering tools. Do that. And then we're gonna have to add to our fire. Like that. And then we're gonna hit next. And, uh... End out day two here in Dead in Bermuda. Plenty of food for folks. Um... Uh, these guys are gonna get, gonna get way too fatigued for this stuff, but that management is gonna be rough, having to manage everyone's fatigue, and you only got three spots where they can sleep in. Yeah, he's he's way up there, so I wanna, I'm curious as to how much it's gonna drop from the other guys. Uh, yeah. Reading books makes you tired. Reading is for prisoners. It's a reasonable drop, but not not super great. But you know, they they did okay. I lived in London. This is the doctor. Yeah, don't, don't don't be racist now. You're a role model. Okay, um, I don't like Alice, I don't think. I don't think. Oh, I really don't like Alice. Yeah. That's enough for tonight, Alice. You're a little too... Plus 10 to Alice's opinion about Winter's. Minus 10 to Winter's opinion of Alice. And that increases Winter's depression by 10 points. Thanks a lot, Alice. Thanks a whole lot. And then, uh, people gotta eat. No, uh, not, not really. They're not. I'll feed. I'll feed Alice. But everybody else is kind of below, tw below twenty. Uh, so, I mean, they say that there's a chance of these meals perishing. So I, I should probably use them when I have them. But I'm assuming at some point there's only going to be so many, and they're going to run out. So, there's that part of it. Because I would hate to have them and then lose them. That wouldn't be good, but... Whatever. Fire intensity, water supplies... One out of three of your fresh fish have degraded. Five out of twelve... Uh, barely edible... Yeah, okay. Gotcha. 
gotcha and gotcha. But that's going to do it here for this cold boot of Dead in Bermuda is day four. Uh, Dead in Bermuda for the PCs out now on Steam. It's like, you know, 14, 15 bucks, something like that. I'm not actually sure. Uh, but as always, I am your host, Tax Slug. Uh, this has been the Cold Boot. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.